Auto first at five tonight. As many as two cars may have run over a woman that was trying to cross a Denver street. Well, now we are hearing from a stranger who tried to help her, and as a result, has lost her job over doing that. Happened last night on Leedsdale between Monaco and Quebec. Sean Boyd at that scene for us tonight. And Sean, you found out that some people just drove around that victim as she laid there in the street. Hey, Karen, what happened here last night brought out the worst in some people and the best in others. Police say a woman was crossing Leedsdale here when she was hit not by one, but two cars. Her injuries so severe, she would die here in the road, but not alone, thanks to a stranger who cared enough to stop. I just was trying to say anything to comfort her. I just told her not to leave yet. Averia Baldera still doesn't know the name of the woman she saw lying on the side of the road after being hit. But she can't stop thinking about her. You ain't got to know somebody to help them. I mean, I ain't got much in this world, but I can at least give a hand. Which is what she did Thursday night. As other cars drove around the woman's body, not stopping to even check on her, Balderas got out and started CPR, eventually joined by another woman. And just say, if you see somebody hurt in the road, if you see somebody, something happening, don't drive off. Don't leave them like that. And the people that did that, uh, you know, uh, should be ashamed of yourself. That's somebody's daughter, somebody's sister. Valderas thinks about that family now. You know, I didn't leave her alone. We prayed for her. I don't, to make sure I just, she heard, at least she heard that as her last moments. Heard that somebody cared. I'm sorry I couldn't do more. I'm sorry I couldn't save her. One of the cars that hit the woman stopped at the scene, the other a short distance away. Everyone else drove off. You know, people are thinking about money and gifts and all this, and all that's temporary comes and goes. You know, life's important. Helping people's important. That's what, you know, that's what it's supposed to be about. You know, I don't, I don't know who she is, but, you know, I care about her. I'm sorry she's gone. They say no good deed goes unpunished, and Balderas is looking for a new job tonight. After she went into work last night covered in blood and shaking, and her boss didn't want to give her the night off. Tonight, police released the name of the victim, Dominique Amos. She was 18 years old. They have identified both of the drivers, but have not charged anyone at this point as the investigation is still underway. Live in Denver, Sean Boyd covering Colorado First. Hopefully she gets another job there. Sean, thank you.